are. Why are flies so hard to swat? You know how when you're trying to swat a fly and you creep up on it and you think you almost got it and then it just gets away at the last second. And that's because flies actually have a number of adaptations that make them very, very good at escaping very quickly, even from what looks like a standstill. New research shows that one of those secrets is in these modified hind wings. So the little pair of structures that they have that at one point in their evolutionary past used to be wings, but are now these stick-like structures with little balls at the end called haltiers. And these haltiers vibrate very, very rapidly and are known to affect a fly's stability when they're in flight. However, there is a group of flies that also vibrate their haltiers when they're not flying. And so scientists wondered, hmm, well, could this be something that has something to do with how fast they can take off? All flies that are in the order Diptera, or true flies, have haltiers. But only flies that are in a subgroup called Calyptera have haltiers that vibrate when they're walking or standing still, as well as when they're flying. Calyptera flies, their takeoff was actually five times faster than non calyptera flies, and it seemed like they needed fewer wing beats or less wing effort to do it. So that was interesting. So then the next step is to see, okay, well, does the fact that calyptera flies vibrate their haltiers when they're standing still, does that have something to do with the fact that they're better at takeoff? So what the scientists did was they removed the haltiers from calyptera and non-calyptera flies and then tested them to see, okay, well, does that affect their takeoff speed? And it did for calyptera flies. When non-calyptera flies haltiers were removed, it didn't really affect their takeoff speed or efficiency all that much. But in the calyptera flies, it dramatically affected their performance and their takeoffs became much slower. So the scientists said that seems like a pretty good indication that the fact that they're vibrating their haltiers when they're standing still, that that probably has something to do with communicating important information to, uh, to the muscles in their legs and to their wings to help them attain a speedier takeoff. Even before this new research, scientists had a lot of evidence that helps to explain why flies are so hard to swat. They can maneuver at a speed that fighter jet pilots would envy. They can zig and zag in midair and change course in about 50 times faster than you can blink. And the way that they process visual information is also significantly faster than people do, about six times faster. So while you think you may be moving really quickly to a fly, that actually looks like slow motion. So that swat as your hand moves toward them they're actually seeing that a lot more slowly than you are, and that gives them a little more time to get out of the way. So the next time you try and swat a fly and fail miserably, don't feel too bad about it. It's not you, it's them.